that's the extent of your knowledge of physics, then join the club and relax. This next story reveals and revels in the hidden workings of the principles of physics in our daily lives. Now, these workings get revealed in unusual ways. Tangent, so when do I let it go if I want to hit Brian? When it's over here. All right, let's not hit Brian. Let's, let's go out and hit that tree over there. Sure, the school's in, but the classroom turns out to be an almost quiet corner of 300 acres of the Six Flags Great American Theme Park, an hour's drive from Chicago. Gang, we've got motion in a vertical circle here. Now, the question is, what are the forces that the track is exerting on the object? For 17 years, this pair of high school teachers, better known as Mr. C and Uncle Jim, have been preaching their own brand of gospel taking anyone who'll listen on a roller coaster ride of discovery. Will the track at any given time push the object along or will it just hold it? This is what this is all about. I mean, it's impossible to escape physics. It's everywhere. You know, we're, we're so lucky as physics teachers to be able to use the real world and everyday examples. The kids should be able to see on the way home what they saw in class. The playful penguins are very similar to any of the roller coasters in the park. And once they reach the top, they acquire potential energy. As they slide down the track, the potential energy is continually transformed into kinetic energy until they reach the bottom. Penguins, Batman, roller coasters? I'm not sure I've got the plot yet. I do know that I'm supposed to experience this next bit of physics in a visceral way. What's worrying is the publicity blurb. The first suspended outside looping roller coaster, nothing below your feet but air, 80 odd kilometres per hour, zero G rolls for goodness sake. So, the mechanical track is dragging us up, endowing us with potential energy that as we're released gets converted into far too much kinetic energy. what weightlessness is actually like. The feeling of not being supported by any forces. Uh, moving in that uh, parabolic zero-g roll, you felt like a jet fighter pilot going through a roll in, in the air. It's also the ultimate inertia demonstration. In other words, as you're coming down from that high rise, you cannot see the track. So suddenly you're flipped into a vertical circle. You tend to lose your shoes right at the bottom of that track because they want to continue straight, but of course the track forces you to go in a circle. Okay, gang, our next project is the cage of cliffhanger, sometimes known as the rotor. We want to measure the radius, the linear speed, and the centripetal acceleration. Let's go! I at least now understand one possible practicality of all those flower beds. Could it be that such visceral learning is not for everyone? This seems more my speed. I'm hoping that I might still retain something of physics without being subjected to a 4.1 g-force. Ah, Newton's first law of motion. All bodies exist in a state of rest or move in a straight line unless other forces act on them. I think it's time for a lesson in the third law. For every reaction, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The question is, though, why when we have one come in, we only get one leaving? Why can't one come in and four leave? What we're doing is, because the forces are opposite but equal, we're conserving not only momentum, but in this case, kinetic energy. Okay, here we go. Hang on. Now this dynamic duo have developed cult right, following, with annual physics days at this fun park attracting 15,000 people from four states. I'm gonna keep looking at you so I don't get dizzy. Students, right, teachers, you, you and really anyone with an inquiring mind. Question, will the track speed up the object or slow it down? Notice. Notice the critical speed is the same for everyone. What is happening? There's a force directed towards the center. Every Gravity is acting downward. Friction is acting upward. But today, it's just students learning the hard way, or is it the easy way? Friction Either way, I'm about to find out there's right. one more in store. So what are we going to learn on this one? Oh, this is a great one. We're going to be standing up. We're going to be turned 
sideways, and we're going to be actually going to be flipped around our heart. Here and that go. makes for an extremely smooth ride. Oh, yeah. Since you're spinning around your heart, you don't feel jerked as you do in some of the other rides in the park. And we're doing this for pleasure or for education? Both. There's no reason why you can't learn a difficult subject and have fun at the same time. Depends on your definition of fun, but it sure beats the physics classrooms I remember well before 2000.